fresh out of my mailbox, it's Metroid The Other M, The Art Folio. This was a pre-order bonus item you got for ordering with GameStop. The game came out last night, and it came shipped to my house today free of charge. So kudos for that. Uh, as you can see, it has a nice slip cover. It's uh, got silver embroidered designs on it. Uh, it's actually pretty sturdy. I did not expect that. Um, another thing I didn't expect is the size. These aren't just business card size like I initially thought. They are about postcard size. They are all held together by a fancy banner ribbon that you have to take off. Nice touch for a free bonus item, I would say. Um, the actual postcards themselves are just graphics from the game, um, screenshots, renders, stuff like that. And on the back of each card is a description of the actual render on the front. I'm not going to read all of them because you know there's a bunch of them, but uh, just I'll give you a couple samples throughout the video. Some of them are pretty basic, like this one, it's just Samus in her gear, and some of them are um, actual screenshots from the game, like I said. Uh, oh, here's Zero Suit Samus. I think I'll read this one. When my power suit is deactivated, my Zero Suit is the outfit of choice. In the rare moments when my equipment malfunctions, this is all I have to rely on. Fortunately, the streamlined design enables acrobatic movement, and the paralyzer is all that I need to get me out of tight spots. Here's another one of Samus. And some of these characters, um, I'm, f I'm familiar with them with the trailers, but I actually haven't played the game yet. I mean, literally, I just got this in the mail. So I'm about to go play it, actually. But I'm not really too sure who these people are, aside from what I've seen in the trailers. Here is an actual piece of artwork from the game, not just a uh, character render. I think these ones make for the best postcards, just because Metroid is known for having that really nice, dark art style, very moody. I'm still not used to seeing Samus actually involved in these physical fights yet. It's a change for the series. I mean, I should be used to it because of Smash Brothers, but uh, it's definitely a different direction for the series. We'll see how it is. I love this screenshot. This is awesome. Or character artwork, whatever it is. That'd be great as a poster. You'll see that one a lot in promotional work. Uh, and here's an actual screenshot from the game in action. Um, I've noticed from, this, from various screens and videos and trailers and that, that they've remained true to the series. It's not just a bunch of bland corridors, it's corridors leading to really vibrant, colorful areas, just like all the Metroid games had. And aside from Metroid 2, but Game Boy limitations, you know. All right, let's see what this says. As the biosphere was the first simulated environment I saw, it took some time for me to discover that much of the area was completely holographic. Real features like rock walls and flowing waterfalls were surrounded by believable background vistas, clearly designed for the benefit of the indigenous fauna interesting stuff. Here's a screenshot of Samus and uh, here's a great example of the varied environments in the game. There's a Sub-Zero part. It's good to see a Metroid game go back to the roots. Um, I've never really followed the Prime series very closely so I don't know much about what's going on there but this one is a direct sequel to Super Metroid from what I understand and that was definitely one of my favorites growing up. And speaking of Super Metroid actually here's a shot of the remade FMV sequence of the ending of Super Metroid that's uh, in the intro, I believe, of Other M. Might as well take a look at the back of the card for this one. A dream I was reliving, the tragic moments of my recent past. The baby Metroid that had emerged from its egg in front of me so long ago was protecting me from the assault of Mother Brain. It would sacrifice its life to save me, and in doing so, give me the power of the hyper beam that would spell Mother Brain's doom. It's a well-crafted story arc for the early series of video games. And here we are, this is the final postcard. It's of the bottle ship, that's bottle with an O. Uh, that will conclude this series of postcards. Oh yeah, I'll show you guys the box art. Some nice stuff on front. Uh, open it up and I uh, can't show you my Club Nintendo stuff on the off chance that there's anything worth exchanging coins for. Uh, but there's the disc art and there's the back art. Thanks for watching and if you like my videos you can check out my website at www.living-vicariously.net.